There is no question that rural schools in China do better than similar schools almost anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. They are a lot more advanced. They have better resources, better teachers. And but there is room for improvement. There is a lot. There is a big gap. And basically what China has to do is it has 15 years to close that gap, which had taken 150 years in much of the rest of the industrialized world to do it. So in a sense, the magnitude of the challenge is there. The achievement gap is there. But at the very same time, I would think the conditions for actually addressing this are far better than anywhere else. And once again, uh, if you are in a disadvantaged school in China, your, your chance to succeed is much greater than in much of the rest of the okay, world. Okay, so from the very top, how is the government addressing that? Well, it's creating, first of all, incentives to get teachers into those kinds of communities. Now, Teach for China is just one example, but there are many efforts underway to basically make it attractive, creating career paths around it. You know, if you're a vice principal in a high-performing school in Shanghai, you want to become principal, the way to do it is actually to get to a rural school, to get to a poor school, to transform that school. It's basically building teacher careers around addressing challenges, just then around seniority. It's about resource deployment. If you think about the way the government uses money from rich provinces to support poor provinces and much of the rest of the world it goes the other way around. I'm not very optimistic about education inequality in China. I think that over the years it will become worse and worse. And the reason why is that the rich and powerful are choosing to detach themselves from the traditional school system. Right now you have white, we're in white Pao, right? Mm -hmm. white Pao is representative of a future trend in China of new private schools catering to the middle class giving them an education that is very Western, very progressive. Because of this trend, we're seeing a lot of resources di being diverted from the most needed areas into the most privileged areas. China is probably the only country in the world, or certainly the only country I've been exposed to, that has made equity, as John was saying a little bit earlier, the, the primary organizing principle of all of its policies around education. Every discussion you have with Chinese officials about education and education reform revolves around the question of equity. How can we make sure that kids in low-income communities have access to the same kinds of educational opportunities that their peers in affluent communities